Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 156 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna need until the end of this channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Whew, that was a good set. Definitely felt every rep. Felt it real good. <laughs> and I know it's too early to say it, but I feel like I could do, I could add some more weight to the exercise. I know in the next three sets, I'll probably change my mind on that, but <laughs> it felt real good. I wasn't struggling too much with the weight, even though it's lightweight for most people. It was fine, it was good. And there we are again with the predicament it's a little too light maybe not too light it's a little light but I can't add any more weight to it I can't in order for me to do that I'll have to get actual dumbbells maybe a 30 or 35 pounder even though I could probably add uh, now I can't because that will make it 10 pounds more on each one. Well, I guess next week we can try it with, with the dumbbells loaded at uh, 15 pounds on each side, on each end of the dumbbell. They'll make it 30 pounds plus. Uh, but we're gonna leave it for next week this week i think as it is it's plenty of weight <laughs> just saying uh. all right so three more sets of the dumbbell flies then we'll move on to the next exercise next exercise is going to be incline dumbbell press i'm gonna leave the flat ones for last today and if you noticed at the beginning of the video I did not do the push-ups uh, that doesn't mean that I didn't do them it's, it only means that the warm-up was off camera let me know if you want to see it again or if you want to see it incorpor incorporate into the exercise or not uh, it's just laziness of my part not wanting to deal with camera and whatnot, but I, I figure give it a shot and see what the response is. But anyway, time is up. Here we go again with the second set of the dumbbell flies.
Time for our second break. <sighs> On the second set, I pushed it a little bit farther down the road. Oh, definitely felt every rep. I am definitely getting stronger, a little bit. <laughs> Enough to notice it. We'll have to... We'll have to increase the weight slightly. Sometime soon. Sometime soon, as in like within the next couple of weeks, <laughs> a few weeks, it's gonna be another struggle as I increase the weight to all the exercises. But yeah, we'll see if I can push it closer to failure in the next set. Actually, the next two sets and see if I don't hurt myself. <laughs> My form is not the best, but it's fairly clean, fairly clean. As clean as a used car. Time is still ticking. <sighs> yeah, next week I'll probably, I'll try next week. I don't know if I will be able to. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I'll be able to fly with 30 pounders on, but I guess we'll find out to, not tomorrow, but next week. And I did forget to add the note to my spreadsheet. I just remember just right now. I need to update my spreadsheet for yesterday's exercise, which was legs. We were curling a decent amount of weight and we do, were doing the extensions with a decent amount of weight as well. So that's something we need to update on the spreadsheet so next week i'm not all over the place saying the exact same thing i said this week <laughs> but anyway time is up and here we go with the third set of these dumbbell flies Take another break. That is the closest I can push it to failure. My chest is burning. I was fearing that if I could keep, if I keep pushing it, I was gonna snap something off. <laughs> I was compromising a little bit my form there, more than usual. So, 
I left it there. Still a good amount of reps. Still felt the exercise where I needed to feel the exercise. We have one more set of the dumbbell flies. We'll add 20 more pounds to each dumbbell. And then we'll go inclined. All right. Whew. Let's take another set. And yesterday I ended up going over my calories. <laughs> Not by a little bit, <laughs> but by a lot. Entirely my fault. I gave in. Whew. It's hard to, I don't know how people fast, <laughs> but it's hard to control yourself. Uh, yeah. Today I'm doing a, a lot better today for sure. I'm doing a lot better. And today I'm gonna go for a little bit of a bike ride too, just to uh, shave off a little bit more from yesterday's <laughs> carnage. <sighs> Not gonna go for too long of a bike ride, maybe an hour, but it's gonna be a smooth hour. It's not gonna be intense. I need to keep as much muscle as I possibly can. As much muscle as I possibly can, I need to keep it. <sighs> Whew. All right, just a few more seconds to go. We'll do the last set of these dumbbell flies. And then move on to the next exercise. <sighs> have my wrist secured all right hopefully not too tight all right time is up Here we go. My arms were burning. I think it's because I had this wrist straps really tight. But I definitely felt that exercise. Even though a few of the reps were kind of questionable. Whew. Felt real good. <laughs> All right, let's get ready for the next exercise, which is incline dumbbell press. We'll start with the bench. I'll adjust it. Incline it just a little bit. 
just enough so we can say it's inclined. Remember we're working out the chest, not the shoulders, so it doesn't need to be too inclined. One. Two. We're gonna go to the max amount of weight we can lift <laughs> for now. And I only remember that I need to buy some more weights when I actually need the weights. Not after, nor before. So I need to get maybe a pair of the 10 pounders, one or two pair of the 10 pounders. That should do the trick. Smart bell number one is done. Let's go with the number two. This timer is gonna time out on me. I'm not gonna be done with this smart bells. Let's do this. All right. Time is up. And here we go with the first set of the incline dumbbell press. Here we go. Take a break. Woo. Ah, definitely felt every rep. Ah, and I apologize if you heard me counting in Spanish. <laughs> Woo. Trying to sort of know where I am with all these exercises. It seems like I need to challenge myself a little more with the weight, just a little more. Oh, let's see. I need to get some more weights. They're definitely gonna be 10 pounders. I'll be able to add 10 pounders to each one of these dumbbells. So it will look less ridiculous than what it does now <laughs> when I load them. Plus I'll still have the fives to add a little more as I need them. I 
don't want to go with the two and a half pounders. Uh, I think that little bit, it will help, but I, you know, the, the end goal is a little more than just a little bit. Okay, not a little more, it's, it's more than just a little bit. So I need big changes, I need to make big sacrifices here. Bite the bullet, get the bigger ones. I fought uh, uh, twice as much weight than I would normally would to hopefully get twice as much results from it. <sighs> yeah, as soon as I'm done with this exercise, I'm gonna see where I can find 10 pounders. Gosh, definitely felt that exercise. And if you can see, veins are popping out. <laughs> uh, looks like I started losing my body fat from my head down. <laughs> uh, my legs are still chubby. <laughs> uh, love handles are way smaller now than they were at the beginning of the challenge, even halfway through the challenge. Okay, maybe not halfway through the challenge, but halfway between now and the beginning. <clears throat> and, but my abdominal area is still holding on to some fat there. I am going to, well, already increase my calorie intake. And I think where I am, it's flat out maintenance. I think maybe a little bit below maintenance, but I've been kind of cheating on my diet. So I'm not sure. I'll have to extend this trial for a few more weeks. <laughs> it seems like anyway. All right, time is up. Here we go. Felt that one. It wasn't until the last five reps when I actually started to feel it everywhere between my chest and my hands. Was getting to the point where my hands were gonna start wobble a little bit. <laughs> Putting an emphasis on the time under tension. So after that set, definitely, I definitely have to increase the weight. I need to bring those rep counts back down to eight or nine. I'm uh, seeing closer to 10, but definitely not below eight. Might be below eight for a week or two, but 
will definitely gain strength and hopefully get more results from the exercises. <sighs> feels good. Definitely feels good. That was the second set. We have two more sets to go and then we'll We'll put this bench back flat and do it all over again. All right, let's get this thing ready. There we go. Oh, before it turns out on me. Woo. All right. Just a few more seconds to go. And we're we'll going to our third set. And the days off from work, they fly by. <laughs> yes. These are the last few hours of my day off, of my second day off. Yesterday was my first one, and today's my second one. After 10 p.m. today, I'll be available <laughs> again for the phone to ring. The only sad part is when you work into your days off kind of takes from one of your days off. All right, time is up. Here we go with the third set. Felt every single one there. <laughs> Heart rate <laughs> is in pretty good rhythm right now. It's above 100. <sighs> Definitely feeling it. My body knows I'm working out. <laughs> I don't know about my little Fitbit, but <laughs> my body definitely knows I'm working out. <sighs> All right, let's see what we have here. <sighs> One more set of the inclines. <sighs> we'll go back flat and do the last four sets flat and call it a day. And now that we are at this point, I don't think it makes much of a difference if I include the warm up or not into the video. It adds, at least adds seven more minutes to the video. But I guess it's important to have it recorded. So. If anyone wants to watch the videos and follow along can relate to the timing and whatnot for the exercise. 
I will certainly do that. <laughs> next time, next week, we'll keep the push-ups in the video. All right, just a few more seconds. We'll go into the last set of this exercise and move on. Let's start getting ready. My arms are getting tired. My chest is getting tired too. Because I can definitely feel my chest working with every rep. There are times when I also feel my shoulders getting activated. I try to keep it out of the equation. I trying not to go too far past uh, that point, which is kind of hard. If you've done any type of bench press, you always want to go down to your chest for some reason. But trying not to go too far past this point because right past that point is when uh, your shoulders start working instead of your chest or more of your shoulders and less from your chest. All right, here we go. If, I don't know if I need to say it, but <sighs> ran out of gas on that one. <sighs> Whew. They were very good reps, though. very good ones. Whew. Let's bring this down back to the flat position and. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to leave the weight as it is. Dumbbells loaded with 40 pounds. We'll see how far we can push this with that much weight. There's a small chance I'll have to take weight off. We'll assess that as, as we go along. We'll make that decision as we go. Don't really want to predict what's gonna happen because <laughs> obviously I have no idea what's gonna happen. Started with flies today, continued with the incline, and then last but not least, the flat dumbbell press. It's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Whew, I just wanted to put a little more energy into the top part of the pecs first. So I'm not too tired to do those. So now we're gonna see if <laughs> we are making progress. If I do finish this exercise without taking weight off, I'm saying not going below eight reps. It's definitely a success. Definitely a success. No, it's kind of hard for me sitting in here, not walking around and making 
the blood flow everywhere kind of slows down my recovery so in other words if you can walk around as you wait for the timer please do so that is an advice <laughs> walk around your bench walk in a circle do something I don't do it because I care about you guys. <laughs> oh, I need to stay in the frame. <laughs> so you guys know what's going on. Well, not that much is happening. <sighs> oh. All right. Here we go. First set. Take a break. All right, so the last few reps were really good. The first ones, I think I was going a little too fast. I definitely felt the exercise. The next three sets are gonna be crucial. Because I need to do better than this one. But at the same time, I know I'm going to struggle a little bit, especially after the fifth rep. I still think I need to get some more weight. Some more weight, not me gain some more weight. <laughs> I need I need to get some more weight to lift. Two more 10 pounders should do it. Two more 10 pounders. Whew. Talking about that. I need to drink some more water so I can lose weight. <laughs> At least 10 pounds more. 10 more pounds. If today's 156, yeah, that still gives me over 100 days. At least a half. Yeah, a quarter pound. Yeah. Still doable. Definitely doable. definitely lose the 10 pounds it's probably gonna be less than 10 from where I am it's funny I was uh, towards the end of last year which was still maybe day 80 some maybe day 81 or something like that I don't really remember I have to look at my on my app uh, but I was 198 pounds I was already a few days into the challenge. Uh, it was 198. And my goal was to be 173, 170, something like that. 
Well, uh, a few weeks ago, I weighed myself and I was 177. <laughs> so four more pounds to go to where I thought I was gonna leave it at. So I think it needs to be a little bit less than that. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Time is up and here we go with the second set of this flat dumbbell press. Here we go. Felt every single rep there. We'll do two more sets and call it a day. Wow. I barely made it to the rep count. <laughs> I'm pretty sure by this point last week, I was taking weight off. I'm gonna push it a little bit harder this time and see if we can do the rest of the exercise with this much weight. All right, let's see, where are we? My body knows I'm working out. Looks like I did go for a little bit of a walk. All right. Can't make the calorie deficit with food. <laughs> make it with exercise. <laughs> if you have the time. Actually, there's always time. Just have to get up of that chair and do something. Do something. Doesn't matter what it is. Gotta do something. And put the fork down too. Because you worked out doesn't mean you earned your food. You earned to eat more than what you should. Just eat what you just eat what you should eat. No more than that. Shouldn't be eating like, like a maniac. Alright. Just a few more seconds on this break. Oh, and then we'll go right back to it. I'm waiting as, as much as I can till the timer is a little bit lower so I can strap my wrist again because I need as much blood as possible. Circulate through my chest, my arms. I'm pushing. I'm definitely pushing myself here. I'm definitely gonna feel the chest tomorrow. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm not strangling my wrist too much. I'm acting like I'm some sort of power lifter. 
Ah. Just a regular guy. Here we go. Last break of the night, or day, morning, whatever it is. <sighs> Feeling every single rep there. <sighs> I don't know when, but soon I'll, I guess after I increase the weight, I'll take a week off from that much weight. So I will do a week or two with more weight. And then go back to where I am currently for a week or two. <laughs> I'm going to push for one week instead of two. And then go back up to then no wait. But before I do that, I need to buy some more weight. <laughs> Woo! It does feel good being able to work out. I don't know why I stopped for so long. I'm definitely making a lot more progress now than I've ever done in my entire life. I've always been dependent on other people's schedule in order for me to work out. Also depending on either going to the gym or not. Also depending on the weather. All those excuses are gone. Now it will be nice to have an actual gym. It will be nice to have an actual workout partner. It will be nice to have a regular schedule. <laughs> but I don't have those, but I don't really need them right now. This is not like I'm a fitness model that I need to work out and I need to maximize all my progress. Just the regular guy doing what he can to stay fit or not to stay fit but also to be healthier a healthier me I can be I am achieving my goals which is important not as, not as fast as I would like but hey it's not a race <laughs> nobody's waiting for me Actually, there are two girls on the other side of that wall waiting for me right now, but it's not like I have to look like a movie star for them to love me. Love is already earned. I just have to get better, get healthier, and achieve my personal goals. All right, too much talking. Time is up. And here we go.
That was unexpected. I honestly thought I had two or three more reps in the tank. But all of a sudden I went down and I was not gonna go up again. <laughs> Woo. Feels, like, feels like my left arm was out of the fight. I rep sooner than my right one. But anyway, it was definitely a success today. Completed the exercise with as much weight as I wanted to. And it was a good session for sure. All right, that was it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.